I don't claim to be an expert on television. I rarely watch it. Um, but uh, to my mind, at least, one of the proudest moments of, in television history took place in the late 1960s. I'm not quite sure what year it was, um, when uh, the 17 episodes of the original uh, Prisoner series uh, by uh, starring Patrick McGowan were made. Uh, to anyone not familiar with it, um, it's the story of, uh, of a secret agent, a British se secret agent, who resigns his position, uh, is kidnapped, and finds himself uh, in a place called The Village, which is probably the most uh, utterly and deliberately conformist society possible. Um, it's uh, The entire series is kind of science fiction slash James Bond meets um, sociology. Uh, and it generally um, takes a dim view of society and how it is run, uh, an even paranoid one. But there are flashes of, of optimism and flashes of, uh, of um, understanding of the, uh, the, the people who run uh, the, so the society of the village, um, where it's shown that it's entirely possible that they actually have the prisoner and the other inmates best interests at heart, or at least best interests as they understand them. They may not actually be evil, wicked, manipulative people. Um, provided one lives by the rules, the, the, uh, the village is the equivalent of living in a luxury spa. Um, provided one lives by the rules. Uh, this kind of thing, to my mind at least, often mirrors my view of the Islamic world um, with its rigid uh, social mores, uh, with its uh, rigid um, uh, ethical code. Uh, Islam essentially, to my mind at least, the way that I, I understand it, seems to have a rule for just about everything any human being could ever do throughout his entire life, or her entire life. Um, and it also, like the village, stresses conformity in all things. Um, conformity of dress, conformity of speech, um, conformity of, uh, of behavior. Um, even the names that are employed in the Islamic world tend to downplay the value of the individual. Um, you have so many Muslims with names like Ali, uh, Muhammad, uh, Mustafa, uh, where one almost gets the the idea that that the individuality of of each person is deliberately downplayed uh, in little things like one's name. Um, but this is not to say that um, that Islam has no scope for the eccentric or Islamic societies. My experiences in, in, in the Islamic world, or at least the bits that I visited, uh, have led me to believe that um, it's all a bit of a, of a facade. I've never been to, say, Iran or Saudi Arabia, but I've been to uh, other places in the Islamic world um, where the overt forms are uh, maintained, uh, the outward forms are maintained, but if you um, if you want to get drunk and or if you want to uh, chase women or men for that matter uh, or you know generally do the things which is normally seen which are normally seen to be uh, antisocial or disruptive or destructive or even abominable uh, in uh, in Islam you can usually do it but you have to keep out of sight you cannot be uh, Involved uh, with these activities in the eyes of decent society, quote unquote. Um, so, I also um, think that our view of Islam as a uh, backward, reactionary, medieval uh, philosophy is somewhat skewed as well. It's just, to my mind at least, it's just the idea uh, at its heart, that this is what I believe Islam to be, the idea that it is possible to so engineer human affairs with a set of rules uh, that the maximum happiness uh, will come about. 
Um, now, to an individualist and an eccentric like myself, the village and Islam are similar things in that maybe they mean well, but the only way that they can get me to fit into their view of things is to destroy me, is to take away that which makes me feel comfortable in my own skin. Again, I don't, I, I will never uh, condemn uh, someone else's faith or someone else's view of how society uh, should be run. But I will say that society, in my opinion, ought to be judged by how it deals with its own nonconformists, its own eccentrics, um, but provided, of course, they're, they're not harming anyone. Um, and to my mind at least, the more conformist the society, the harsher it is on the square pegs. Um, that to me is what I fear most, um, or what I, I shouldn't say I fear most, but what makes me most uncomfortable with the prospect of living in uh, a conformist society. I don't mind if everyone else conforms, and I don't mind if I'm ostracized for um, not conforming. But it's in the more conformist ones, that's not enough. We have to correct you. Um, and that is the village and Islam uh, encapsulated. Thank you.